Okay, look. I'm gonna say I'm sorry now for what happened up there, but I do not want you to take it as an admission of guilt. That distinction is important, because I don't think anything that I said was that off-base. Hey, I was just the girl on the sidewalk watching the car crash happen in slow motion. But you should nip it in the bud with Ren when we get back. Just say you're sorry. <sighs> Fine. For you, I will apologize to Ren when I see him. Alright. So... Alright, we're going the right way. The woods, and then down to the main street. Look, uh, and I just want to clear the air too, just so Ren or whoever can't use it as ammo against me. But you might have heard that I uh, went to jail at some point. I never went to jail, but I did beat up a guy and get sent to juvenile detention for it. And I just wanted you to know so it wasn't like a thing hanging over your head or anything. And I just wanted you to know so it... Just... My mom got sick and then she got real sick and then this kid, Timmy Finster, threw a baseball at my head and yes, he was joking, but... I don't know, I just popped. Yeah, it was as stupid as it sounds. And I'm not gonna defend myself. You lost control, Jonas. It happens. We... We break sometimes. My mom found out, of course, and I never really squared it with her in a way that... I don't know. Things never really work out the way you want, you know? But, whatever. Yeah, well, you're preaching to the choir on that one. I'm not gonna say I'm a good guy. Oh, crap. <laughs> Sometimes you talk too much, Jonas. That's not my fault. That's not my fault. At least there are subtitles, so you knew what he was gonna say? <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> See, it's so pretty out here, but then it's like you know, in like a split second, it could get really creepy. And I don't like that. Especially like seeing the red eyes everywhere, that creeps me out. Not right now, of course, just like the Clarissa situation. There were literally eyes. Actually, wait, it, it wasn't that situation. It was the little test that we had to do. We should be there. I think, does this sign mean tune in on the radio? When he was stationed at Fort Milner, Colonel Tim Russell would frequently wander the woods west of his barracks and sketch the wildlife he'd encounter on his walks. After the fort closed in 1974, he led a petition to make the land federally protected, and in 1988, he succeeded. Now, Edwards Forest is an internationally recognized wildlife refuge and bird sanctuary, home to 120 bird species, most notably the white-tailed towhee, a large sparrow indigenous to only this island. The roosting tree that stands before you is a 400-year-old red alder, famous since its discovery in 1655, when Franciscan friars noted that its unusually twisted trunk is bent true north. When he was stationed at Fort Mill all right so i have not been doing that when i've seen these signs that is an issue because i'm pretty sure that's where the test questions come from i think i got the questions right out of pure luck the last time so let me just make sure we're going to the right area seems like it wait where are we right now oh my gosh i went the wrong way I went the wrong way. This is bad. I'm I'm pretty sure I went the wrong way. There's not really I don't think there's a way to get down from the campground straight to the main street. So you guys might have to give me a second. If I do anything special, I will show you, but I'm going to try to get through Epiphany Field all the way down to the beach. I, I, just if stuff happens, you'll see it. <laughs> Okay, I want to check this out. And there is a little radio thing here, so I will do that as well. I 
I think this is probably where we're supposed to come in the first place. This early version of what would today be considered a blast and fallout shelter was commissioned and built in 1946. The above ground hub leads to a bunker 60 feet beneath the Earth's surface, molded with layers of poured concrete and packed earth. The lead blast door will only unlock through use of the call and response system, a setup devised by Lieutenant Commander Matthew Feinberg to prevent tampering. If the Catbird Station, a small watch point in Edwards Forest, radios in a decoded attack, the shelter door will automatically open, triggering an alarm and compulsory evacuation. This early ver All right. Can we do anything with it? No. It's just the shelter. All right, let's go. Okay. So we got another one of these things. Oh, and another one of these. I'm so not sure about this. This data command annex, as it had been dubbed, was used during the base's early years as the communication nerve center for outside military installations. It was also the primary office of Marianne Bozek, a civilian who developed communications protection through the invention of the famed wall system. A type of radio frequency identification, wall, standing for wave-assisted lock, assigned each person who was stationed at Fort Milner a call sign through which they could use their portable two-wave radios to unlock prescribed doors and gates. Though the mechanics are considered outmoded today, the island still uses this security method to honor its rich history. Okay, so does that mean that I can use my radio to unlock it? Man. Or did I just understand it totally wrong? I don't know. Apparently, I'm not smart enough to understand. <laughs> This is... I wanna... This is whatever, but are you, like, religious at all? I mean, my dad said your mom wasn't, but it doesn't... I can probably guess where you're going with this, but I'm gonna ask anyway. Why? I only bring it up because... Well, because my mom was Methodist, and... But, I don't know. I was just wondering if you were. Well, what about it rubbed off on you? Uh, faith discerns the things of God. I heard that a lot as a kid, and it's been on my mind tonight. Some aspects of it just, um, help me, I guess, day to day. A little. Like what aspects? Just the, um, that everything, well, not that everything happens for a reason or whatever, but just that some things are inevitable. I don't know. I'm just babbling now. I get that. Don't worry about the stuff you can't control. Yeah, but is that? Oh my god, is that Clarissa? She's, well, well I was gonna say okay, but I'm... Not too sure about that. She's alive. You're, you're alive. Man, I've never been so happy to see you in my life. Oh, Jesus. She has the... She's doing the thing. The eye thing. Christ, this is not... I am not getting used to this. I'll be honest. Oh, God. Not again. Uh, I hate when this happens. Maybe they want to... Maybe the ghosts or whatever want to help us somehow? Is that the, like, point of trying to... Trying to or, like, talk through us or something? I guess. Larissa, how are you, uh, doing, hun? Just stop talking, Alex, Jonas. A little help over here. Larissa, why don't you crawl down from there, please? Jesus. <gasps> you think you can control me? Clarissa? trying to help you this is this will help me help me how will that help me i was looking forward to seeing you yes i used to dream about something like this it, it's helped the others ren and nona they've gone through this gone through what their children have gone through nothing when you're off the little machine has no more heart than a brain no more heart <gasps> what is she okay or oh she's Clarissa, are you okay? <sighs> Steady, just just take it easy. I'm fine. I can... I'm fine. Okay, just take it slow. You've just been through something. Do you remember anything that happened? <sighs> I remember waiting in Fort Milner and seeing you. That's it? How did I get here? We... 
I think we were hoping you could tell us that, but I don't even know if it matters. You're here now. There's been, like, time disturbances or something, and I think that's what's been teleporting people around, so... And we just had one. Time disturbances? You really don't remember anything? No, I remember something. I remember you with that radio. And I remember feeling like you were the reason all of this was happening. Wait, it's what? Clarissa's turn already? Yeah, it's my turn. What do you mean, it's Clarissa's turn already? I haven't even asked one question. Everyone's asking me. I get to do the asking now. Oh, guys, okay, I know you think we're still playing truth or slap or whatever, but this isn't real, so... Well, wait. Clarissa hasn't gotten a chance to ask something yet, so... Yeah, and you, of all people, should know what my question is going to be, because I'm not going to waste it. Alex, what did you do? Explain why me and my best friend, and your idiot best friend, and your new step... Clarissa, please don't draw a chalk line here. Don't make factions, just... We have to stick together if we're going to make it through this. Jonas, now you're seeing who you're stuck to until graduation. Clarissa, seriously, I can vouch for this. This isn't her fault. It has to be her fault. Of course it's her fault. There's no other way this story goes. She Why? Why does it have to be my fault? Why does it have to be your fault? Are you kidding no, me? No, come on, Clarissa. Let's not do this right you're now. You're gonna learn, Jonas. I swear to God, the town looks at her like she has a red letter tattooed on her freaking forehead and the giant lit up Christmas tree reason why is that Michael is dead because of her. Because of her. Like, it would take a very sick person to see it that way, and I would love to hear the explanation. Michael was gonna leave town. He was free. He was out of here until this one convinced him to take her swimming for one last God knows what. And he drowned. He drowned in Horn Lake while this one could barely flap her arms. Clarissa. It doesn't make it my fault. Anyone could have been there. Anyone. And then they would have had to watch him die, you unbelievable prick. Anyone wouldn't have watched him die, Alex. Anyone else would have done something. Okay, enough. Seriously. This is... Clarissa, this is so... I, I can't even believe we're talking about this right now. She is... Enough. I mean it. Jonas, it... It was awful, all right? It's still awful, and I... I know. I know it's okay. I know. But right now, we're gonna break into that office, and we're gonna find the key. And we're going to go home. No. No? What do you mean, no? All the outs in three. So nope. it's... Wait. What? Wasn't Clarissa with us like two seconds ago? That's crazy. She was... It was like she was just here. Did she run back to the gate? Uh, yeah. Yeah, she was, but we're looping again, so... God only knows where she is now. <sighs> you know, I don't... I don't understand how what we did in that cave is making making any of this happen. Like, what are the triangles? What are the gates? What are the... Why are there ghosts? Why... Maybe tuning in just knocked everything off center a bit? But I mean, I might as well be talking about flying carpets, because just who knows with this stuff. Okay, well, I'm not gonna... Whatever. We're here to get the key, and then we can leave and put all of this far behind us. Let's do it. The office is right here. Yep, this isn't budging. Well, the lock looks, uh, less than modern. Let's just brute force it, both of us. It might splinter, but we should get in. Uh, wait, what about, like, the alarms? Yes, please, come and arrest us. Just get me out of here. <laughs> Very true. I didn't think about that. <laughs> All right. Nice. Let's see if Ren's plan was a good one or not. Probably not. Cross your fingers and hold your thumbs. To sign up for the aquatics program, please register at the front desk. <sighs> Never gets old. Oh really? I think it's pretty old. Uh, I think here's something. It's another pocket radio, I think. <gasps> it but goes to 96. Like there's way more stations on the dial. It says that... Here's another one. It says they're wall radios. Wall stands for wave assisted lock. Ah, they use um, that frequency thing where each frequency is like a key to open the doors around here. It says that you use them like identification tags. It must work for the gate too. Oh wait, look at this. Personal effects of Margaret Dorothy Adler. Um, maybe we shouldn't mess with it then. 
We came in here to steal a key to her property, Alex. We can slightly dishevel a box of her old junk. We can head back. Alpha I'm just gonna... November. Here, this is... To whom? Wait, what? Steal a boat and leave. It just, like, totally cut everything off. <laughs> I thought I was the only one that did that. The game does it, too. What should concern? This is a letter from her? This island and its history is a lie. Wow. Well, this is going somewhere. What? What could that mean? I've been compelled by both forces outside my control and my own willful concern for the safety of others to conceal the many truths about Edwards Island. But now I feel any further inaction may carry a far greater risk. Many truths? Shh. Inside, you'll find two wall-equipped radios. I have commandeered the old Cardinal Station 140.1 and used it to relay clues to nearby beacons buried throughout the area. Find these beacons in the notes within and discover the true chronicle of the island. Oh, scavenger hunt! Oh, scavenger hunt! Scavenger hunt! Wait! <laughs> to whosoever finds the material know that I am discomfited for keeping it hidden and ashamed for the lies I helped preserve, but also know that I acted in what I felt were the best interests for all at the time. And truly for the interest of time itself? And then oh, it- Oh, Christ, this is, this is like literally a treasure map. Please do not get glassy eyes over this, okay? You, we do not have to dig up some old ladies recycling. We can just go home. Hmm. <laughs> We're digging it up. We're gonna do this, you guys, but not at this moment. Um, I'm gonna have to end the video here. But I will see you guys very, very soon for the next episode. And we're going to start getting into some of those locked doors because I want to find the stuff. I'm pretty sure a lot of you might want to find the stuff. So we're going to find the stuff. But anyways, I will see you guys next time.